Hello again, everybody. Another artillery replay. Because I don't feel dirty enough. <laughs> As you can see, we've got ourselves into a tier 9 game for once. But as you can also see, it's the dreaded Himmelsdorf. Which is pretty, pretty terrible for artillery usually. So, what can we do in my little Crusader SP? Hey again, very close to getting the. Was it FV 3805, I think? Or is it FV 207? I'm very close to getting the tier 8. Let's speed it up until something happens, and I'll just talk to you what I was thinking during this game. So again, this isn't going to be a very special game, it's just one where I do a decent amount of damage and assistance damage, because I do believe I track a few vehicles. Now, I start off here and the M53 decides to go and park right in front of me. I don't know if he was doing that deliberately, trying to get himself team killed or something. I mean, he's statistically a decent player, but... Or if he just didn't care and he's like, well, I'm going to park in front of you if you hit me, that's your fault, type deal. So, as you can see, Comet just got taken out by a shot that came whizzing over here. So it must mean their artillery's down there somewhere. And I'm trying to get a decent shot into either of these tanks. And I smack the ISU right in the face for 276 damage. It's very hard if you don't play artillery. You can see this mode. Let's get out of it. This is what it looks like if you're not in that mode. Because you're firing up up the hill you have such a shallow arc once you fire like high enough so it gets over the hill is such a shallow arc that it's really hard to hit people and if there's any of your team like sitting on the ridge up there you have to be really careful not to basically team kill them in the back because some people do poke their tanks with good gun depression and turrets like American heavies can sort of pop over and was a bit of a mischief, but luckily all our tanks located themselves here and not here. So as you can see, I can't hit anything here, 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 and it's only about here where I can start to hit people. And all these people, all the enemy, decided to bunch up here. So go back to our lovely artillery mod view, which is beautiful. I suggest you use it. It's a bit of fun getting used to, but once you are, mix, mix that because you can sort of see what you're aiming at a lot easier, I think, than that. So let's go ahead, see if we can finish off this ISU. Because the ISU 152, you know, the infamous troll cannon, but then I see a Borsig. ISU gets taken out anyway, and Borsig sideways on, and I was like, no, I want to kill the Borsig. The Borsig has no armour, is like an artillery's dream. But. He was hidden, I was aimed at the VK there, and I know he's quite heavily armoured. He could be quite a handful, so I aim for him. And then the Borsig comes out, and I'm like, oh, why didn't I wait? Paper thin tank. Even I could cause that guy a lot of trouble. So I'm waiting for the Borsig to pop out. I'm almost reloaded. I see him moving around. I can see him there. I fire. <laughs> Yeah, the T29 on his team is obviously a massive douche. Mr. 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 Where are you? Is it Tier? Tier Shaman? Where's the T29? Oh, it's not Mr. It's an any. But yeah, um. Why? Just why? Why would you push your teammate right out? He's got one of the most dangerous guns. Especially after I just destroyed him, basically. So, yeah, this art any artillery does well against tanks with yeah, low armour like that light tank. So I did 900 damage to the Borsig, which is a penetrating shot from this gun. It does 900 average. Then we finished off that light tank. And then there's one of the, um, is that one of the Wargaming League tanks, I think? But I noticed that the hill's going to fall. I didn't have any real decent shots into any of those tanks, so I decided to shift, shift my way. 
And I didn't notice that our uh, M5355 over here, the one who parks in front of me, has actually got a minus one kill. So he's managed to kill one of our own team. I missed that. But... Yeah, so... I'm not sure if he's... Because he's statistically a decent play, you know, 55% win rate. But maybe he just doesn't play artillery that much, I don't know. Firstly, he parks in front of me, now he's team killed someone. Um, it's not going brilliant. And that IS-6 has died on the hill, and so all those heavy tanks will probably be coming down looking for us artillery. And so I pretty much know that this game is over for us. But I just wanted to try and get a little bit more damage, see if I could... I mean, I'm up to 1700, and some of that was against quite high targets, like the Borsig, obviously was quite a nice one. The VK tier 9, so that's not too bad. And, like I say, I'm just trying to run away at the moment. I think this game's lost, so I'm trying to run away. <laughs> Do my own thing. I see the VK coming around. I'm like, can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? I did. Didn't finish him off, and so I think I'm going to be dead now. I try reversing so the ISU can come and get him. But, yeah, I get killed by all those heavy tanks coming down the... Coming down the road. So uh, I managed to do just over 2,000 damage there. And like I said, I think I tracked the ISU off on the hill and got a bit of assistance on him. And let's fast forward this to see what actually happens at the end of this. We are actually winning, funny enough. We get another one. So let's go back to normal speed. T32 destroys the Tiger 2 there. Let's have a quick look on health-wise. So, ISU, almost dead. T-43, almost dead. T-32, pretty almost dead. M-53, he's obviously got a kill back at some point, because he now has no kills to his name. So at least he's redeemed himself a little bit. SP-1C, full health, but it's a tier 7 light tank, against an almost full health tier 9 pk 4502 b Let's see how this one goes down. And I'll shut up for a little while, because I don't know what these guys are thinking. I was just staring at this thinking, can we take this game down? So it looks like T43 tracked him there. Fortunately, ISU-152 looked like he got a bit of a rush of poop to the brain. And thought, I can do this. And unfortunately he couldn't. Not sure what the uh, T32 was doing at this point in time. I can't change the camera angle at the moment because apparently this is what I was looking at. And the T32 just gets shut down. T43 goes for it. I don't understand really why. And he goes and he's going and he's going and he's gone. And I was like, no! What's going on? And so the SP1C. And the artillery are left to deal with this guy, but they have, for the health everybody else had, they have taken him down over a thousand, so I'm like, oh, maybe we can do this. I notice the artillery looks like he's trying to flank around. Get a dose of surprise. Surprise. Mm. Rear end action. Mm -hmm. And the VK looks like he's trying to chase down our SP. So I switch uh, fuse to the artillery, see what he's trying to do. Looks like he wants to try and sneak up on the VK. And the SP1C is just trying to, uh, you know, keep out of trouble. He's doing a very good job here. That VK has only got a very small sliver of health now. And the artillery is making his move. ISU doesn't seem to really know what he's doing, saying. He's, he's basically giving abuse to our artillery players. But he only has one shot, basically. Oh, that is artillery. <laughs> artillery accuracy fired from there and hit the top of the building. But SP1C takes, a, takes down the game for us. 
and wins us the game. So what I thought was going to be a defeat actually turned out to be a victory thanks to that SP1C. So let's have a quick look at the post-game stats. So like I said, this wasn't really anything great. Um, I guess if anything, the lesson learned here was don't, you know, assume the worst until the game's over. Because I thought that was a defeat when all those heavy takes came down the hill. Turn and to be honest, it got turned around. So as you can see, we did 2,101 damage. We fired sh five shots, hit five. Brilliant accuracy going on there, which I can only contribute to the artillery mod I'm now using. It does really help a lot. We got 18,000 credits, 811 experience. We also did 1,184 assistance, which looks like it was on the T29 and the ISU 152 up on the hill when I tracked them. I oh, know that was spotting. So I must have done assistant. What was that? Spotting or assistant? I don't know. But we did a lot of assistance for something, which is great. If we look a bit closer, we can see I was, I was only, what, fifth, fifth on experience and fourth on damage. So again, yeah, nothing really special, just, you know, helping out my artillery, especially on a map that isn't artillery friendly. SB1C only did 905 damage, but got two kills, but, you know, he got there towards the end. M53 obviously accidentally killed one of ours, but then killed two more. So he kind of redeemed himself a little bit, but didn't do that much damage really. And if we take a final look, you can see, yeah, 5 out of 5. Did most of our damage over 300. It was only, I think, that last shot I counted under. And this ourselves that little tidy profit. So, yeah, pretty decent, decent game there on a map that doesn't like us. And especially since we were only a tier 7 in a tier 9 game. I feel like we didn't do too bad for ourselves, you know. We weren't a burden on the team at least. Uh, tell me in the comments down below what you thought. Whether you enjoy seeing my artillery replays. I know they're a bit more boring to watch probably than a normal tank replay because there's a little less action but hopefully you get a sense that artillery aren't the, you know, accurate sniper rifles. Although the 5 out of 5 here is not helping me out the accurate sniper rifles that everyone seems to think they are and for instance I only did 2,000 damage like if you hit five times in any other artillery you would probably be doing a lot more than this so not every shot's a one shot well it seems like it is when you get hit by artillery but unless you're the Borsig maybe um, but yeah it's, it's not quite as an evil evil tank as everyone thinks so keep this video short i'll leave it there hope you enjoyed i shall see you next time